Hey crafty friends, welcome back to the old paper lady. I'm Lori. If you're new here, welcome and thank you for joining us. I'm going to play with some book page and uh, um, book page and music papers and see if I can't make me a couple of collage sheets. I got a 12 by 12 um, cream card stock and that's what I'm going to put it on. And I did actually find Santa Claus in my dictionary here. And uh, it said Christmas, but then it said see Christian on it, on one of these here, right here. So I said, well, I'm going to put that in there. So that's what we are attempting to work on here today. And this is not a, a true tear ruler. And this paper is a little, little breaky. So it's not wanting to tear how I want it. So, you know, we're just going to try to see what we can get done on it. I may have to wind up just cutting it. But I think that's all I was wanting to get done there anyways. Just want to, uh, and we'll pull out some more book pages in that. Because we're going to need a little bit more to fill this page up. But that's uh, what we were doing here. Just uh, getting us some uh, dictionary pages that had Santa Claus on it and Christmas on it. Or I was trying my best to anyway. And get a few music pages tore up and glued down. So I think I'm going to put Santa Claus over here on this one. And I'm going to leave that bit on the side. Because we can put a strip of lace or something down that one. No big deal. So just make sure we ain't got no ugly words. That has salute on it. We can put it over here. We can cover that up. No big thing. Chunk, chipmunk. Well, that's got Chippendale on it. <laughs> like drawing room furniture made by Chippendale, 18th century. Oh, that'd be fine. We'll put that over here. I just want to kind of place these bits around where it had uh, Christmas and Santa Claus on it because that was uh, my main bits that I wanted. And that has, uh, let's see, so I want to cut these at like two, three. I want to cut them in like four, two, three, four. So I think if we put this one kind of like here, that'll be fine. And uh, I kind of want to keep this a little bit until I get these bits glued down. Just kind of want to keep this where I got it at. Now, where was the part that had Christmas on it? Did I just mess that up? No, right there it is. There's the Christmas part. So we'll put it over here in this corner. So what I'm wanting to do is try to do a three to four inch. And then um, two, three. Because see, if I do three inch, we're not going to have a whole bunch in there. So we can do music on that bit. So if we do three inches, one, two, three. Yeah, we'll be fine there. One, two, three. So I'm just trying to spread the word, the word pieces out a little bit beforehand is all I'm doing. That has saint on it and I think that'll be fine. So I just want, you know it spread out a bit and then we're just gonna glue it and put it down and that's what we're doing at the moment and of course you know i've been uh, printing and fussy cutting this season i got started on it later in the day because i did a walmart pickup order and then i had to go get that and and then uh i was pretty much just goofing off did some shopping online got me uh some more etsy items got a few more uh timu items it, it was basically jewelry for myself for my own for my birthday present to me that's what i got <laughs> from the timu this time i only uh i did get some crafty items i got some uh i got some christmas uh stickers i did for like uh the rustic vintage vintage brown back 
background stickers. I got some of those from Timu. And then wherever we don't meet up at the corner, we'll just put some uh, put some ink on it, and it'll be fine and dandy. So I got one of my uh, green and red. Actually, I got one's printed front and back. The other one's printed with the with the decorative bits on the front. I have not got it uh, backed yet with the uh, with the tea dye paper on the back of it. But I did get uh, the Santa Claus's fussy cut out today. So from uh, here comes Santa Claus from Ginger Journal Designs. It was a uh, 95 cents. She's got a, a sale going on for pretty much all of her stuff is 95 cents. And uh, so I had got Santa Claus cut out, if you can see him without the glare on him. I got a bunch of those in there. I only printed that set one time. And I figured I would make some tags, journal pockets. These going to be good tags. And then that kit where I showed you yesterday in the video for the... Uh, the Rustic Country Christmas from my uh, Digi and SVG Designs for You. They had that Rustic Christmas kit that had the plaids and wood greens and such in it. I got it fussy cut out. And then I got the paper kit that, I want, that I'm wanting to go with it. Oh, girls, it's, it's pretty. It's a Vintage Christmas holiday plaid and it came from uh pixie tales treasury on etsy and i've got it printed you know front and back so it's meant to go eight and a half by eleven but look you can do it like this and then i just printed the tea stain on the back i thought that would go very well with it so yeah so this is the plaid bits and then I'll pull out for my, uh, <clears throat> this one's beautiful. This red and green, pretty plaid floral bits and interspersed. So that's why I was saying you could decorate these up bits. Wouldn't have to really, uh, cause you know, you can't really write on the plaid. So I put my decorative bits on it. That's what I'm thinking. And you have the, the back with the tea stain to write on. So I think it's real pretty. So that is that kit for that. And I had noticed that I was getting some uh, ink corners. So I cleaned my uh, printer heads, cleaned my bottom, cleaned, cleaned the rollers, cleaned you know, the whole bit and, and that straightened it up. But yeah, so this is gonna be really pretty. It's, it's a lot of pages, so you don't really need to add any extra pages to it. And I do have another set of ephemera to cut apart to go with this. And then I got the music piece ephemera. And I got some just uh, Christmas tags that I got to get cut apart. But, yep, yeah, so this is really pretty. So I said, yeah, that would match perfect back with that rustic this one is uh just a uh, my ink was running out and i was trying to i only needed three pages to print y'all and it ran out on the on this page and two others i was like oh man but that's okay i'd rather do that than you know i set it to print 20 some pages and three pages in it did that and then i have to reprint the whole thing so i just printed went ahead and printed ink down on the back of it and then you know i can save this part here and uh, do something with that make some tags journal card bits with that so that's what i did that so yeah that that's that kit so then the fussy cuts that i got cut apart like i said i'm going to pull the bits out of this that we can decorate up to go with this some uh lighter Christmas music pages and stuff and that'll be a cute little kit to go in that to go with that so I gotta get these pages pulled out of here and uh, I think we'll decorate some of them up too 
but yep so that kit there is uh, pretty much together and done and that's one green or that's the second green christmas kit i got two more that i gotta get printed out that are a uh, for sure gonna do and then like i said anything that we get done extra i'll i'm gonna go back because i've got a bunch bought i really have and I know I'm not going to get to them this year, but I will. I'm going to get them all printed. And then uh, that'll be our Merry Monday works throughout the year. We'll have them to work on throughout uh, the year next year for Merry Mondays is my plan anyways. And we'll get work through all of the backlog of Christmas journals that I have printed off. <laughs> some I don't know where or who I got them from. Some I do. Like the newer stuff here, you know. But yeah, we'll get we'll get all of it printed up and get it worked through on our Merry Mondays, hopefully. And this is no rhyme or reason. I just wanted to separate out my uh, my Christmas and my Santa Claus pages. We'll do the corner bits and then in the middle, and then we're just gonna load it up with a book page. I may may take some of my Christmas scraps put on here. Who knows? I'm just making me a collage page right now because I want to and it's fun. And I want I want a bunch of these. I'm gonna try to get it straight where it's on the three inch mark. And then you know, of course I got a bunch of music paper. So my thought is I would take and put, you know, these pages down. And then take and put my music paper, you know, like in between. <clears throat> and try to, uh, try to emulate the book page music that is going on on some of my, uh, Christmas themed uh, items. Now these bits, we can keep them and put them in my, uh, in my straight edge box that I used to stamp on. And I'll set it over here to the side. I'll keep the straight edges and we'll use it to stamp on well, for most of these. Well, this tears this music page a little bit better because music page is a little bit thicker. And this is some music scrap page that I had. I'm just trying to use that little bit up So that's a little too small to fool with. And that's all I'm doing. So pretty much no rhyme or reason to see and let that'll fit perfect right there. And then I'm going to cut it at three inches. So, you know, so that's what we're doing today. And then uh, at the end, after I get this one decorated up, I'm going to cut it apart and uh, put some fussy cuts on it, make us some tags. I'm going to cut it in half at six inches and then cut three inch tag pieces out of it. And uh, what did I do with my little, there it is, I put it up. <laughs> it's like, what did I do with my little spatula bit? I put it up. So yeah, that's what the plan is. That one has writing on this side, so we'll put it down. That's okay. This one says, uh dream came true or dream come true so that's fine we'll just leave that on there you know and then that has guess you know like guess what your christmas present is i think that's cute so yeah and then these here it's just for different color and i'm going to leave the, the edge bit on that and i'm just going to tear just going to tear a piece hopefully wide enough to go in this strip here and I don't really care if it covers up the word bits or not as long as it don't cover up Santa Claus and Christmas I'm uh, fine and dandy with that I hope everybody's doing good today. Hope y'all had a 
pretty good weekend. The, today is my Saturday evening. I'm shooting this for Sunday, so we're just going to uh, make a collage page. Something easy and fun and, and uh, something I've been needing to get done. And I will not cover the back of it because that's why I'm putting on cream stock, on cream cardstock. Is because, you know, it's it's already, it's already uh, ready to, to write on, on the back side. It's not starky white. And we can use it. And I noticed that my new cream cardstock that I got is completely different color than my cardstock that I had from last year. Like my car stock from last year is like really yellowy cream. And this is a true, you know, just like a tan cream. I, I don't know. But yeah, I was a noticing that when I pulled this out. Because I had two unopened packs in there. And I was like, huh, that looks really, really yellow. And this looks, you know, tan. So I chose to use the tan one. Not the yet bright yellow looking one. To me, it was yellow. It may not have been. I may be, you know, losing it, but I'm just going to put that little bit of music right there. Why not? Use it up. Use it up, honey. I'll just put it right there. Oh, and then, also, on my printer, I found that I have uh, blank staff sheets that I can print push your face so you know what i'm going to be doing uh i'm going to go through there and i'm going to take and uh print me off some colors that match my uh match my kits and that from now on because i was going to order oh this cut it i was going to order some uh staff sheets off of etsy or uh not etsy but uh amazon because I found some on there. And I was like, oh, I need to get some of them. Just blank staff sheets, you know. Because it, it's good writing lines. And I was going to order some. And I found that my printer, when I went through to clean it. Learn how to clean it today and all that. It has graph paper. Uh, graph sheets and such on it. It has the uh, music staff. Blank staff sheets and such. And I said, hush up. I got to get, I got to print that. I do. Alrighty, is there a word on here that we don't want to look at? I haven't really found one that I didn't want to look at. No, I have not found one that I didn't want to look at, to be honest. That's okay. We'll just stick it right here. And then we'll just start building up over over here and just start building up and just put it down build it up like I said I just took and pulled out some uh, <coughs> excuse me my Wexter dictionary and then uh, found you know looked in to see if it had uh, if it had any uh, Christmas or uh, Santa Claus in it, and lo and behold, I found it. So I said, shoot, yeah, let's print you off, buddy. So I'm trying to break it up to where it looks like I'm not just, you know, just had the one, the one, uh, had music in one spot and the words, you know, in a straight line, basically, is what I'm trying to do. And this is kind of harder to to uh, to actually um, collage with this because you know you don't have a you don't have colors to worry about. Well, in that form, it's easier, but it's harder because you're trying to you know mix and match your uh, music and your um, <laughs> and your uh, Dictionary page actually is what I'm trying to get out of my mouth. Yeah, so I'm trying to mix and match music and dictionary page. So I think, oops, it slid on me. Of course it would. 
I need to get me a set of them tear rulers. That's just all there is to it. But I only want the one, so I don't want to buy all three of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I only want the one jaggedy edge. And then I thought about buying the Tim Holtz, uh, uh, what is it? The Tim Holtz one that he has out where it's got like the, uh, the jagged edge on it. That, that little cutter. I thought about getting that. I was like, meh. Because then I've had, I've followed several, uh, channels that are like, you know, I don't like the way it doesn't cut very well. So that's why they don't use it all the time. I'm just going to stick that piece right there. And I said, well, I'll just keep using this ruler here. Oh, get on there, buddy. I'll just keep using this one here to do my jaggedy edge bits and we'll be, be fine. Hoping that I had enough here to uh, that where I wouldn't have to uh, tear into another uh, dictionary page, but I may have to get one more dictionary page out. And if we do, that'll be just fine and dandy. I think I'm gonna put. No, I don't want to put that bit there either. That's gonna be a bit heavy. Well, not really, because the rest of it will be music. Let's put it here, up against that, and then we'll fill in the rest of that with music. I think that'll just be fine. What do y'all think? Y'all think I'm crazy? Probably. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so then we got some more of this dark color here. Let's run it down the side over here. See if we can get us a piece to fill this in. And I don't even care if it runs over top of that right there. Just run from there to there and I'll be happy. Well, I got the bottom piece on there. Now the top piece don't want to go on the paper. Good gracious, get over here. Get over here where I need you. Almost thinking I was going to get away with just using one glue stick or one glue page, but I think I'm going to need another one. And these are the glue pages that I tore out of that book that I was that I'm working on uh, doing the uh, fall florals in. So then we can turn these into pockets and such, pockets and tags and such like that with the book page. Later on, I just glue them up. You know, it's going to be a pocket later on down the line when I get it out to work on it. Whatever it ain't glued together, we'll put glue on it and fix it up. And I just throw it in my little drawer over here to the side. And we'll just work right on along. Hang on to them. Okay, I think I'm going to, no, that's not going to cover down to here, is it? No, it is not. Okie dokie. right there why not why not I'm probably not even gonna try to worry about waiting to see if this dries or not to be honest with y'all 
I'm going to take and put that sideways. Actually, we, I'm going to put it right here. Let's put it right there. Just put it sideways. Why not? Oh, that's fine. It's got the copyright on it. We'll put something else on the front of it. I don't care. It says copyright 1932. And I don't remember what music book. I think it came out of that organ book. Is where I got these, these bits from. And so, see, there's the treble cliff. Right here you go, buddy. Good little spot for you. That just pretty that right on up, didn't it? Now, I want to get some white and green, you know, and I want to get different colors and print the music on it. And I have, I've got a, um, Vellum. I got a bunch of vellum music. That's just, you know, the music notes. And it's, I thought about putting it on here, but then I was like, that's really going to make these curl up if I put a bunch of that on there. So I was like, nah, we can wait on the vellum. Because I've got a project that I want to do for my youngest sister. She was in dance in that for years throughout her youth and uh, so what I want to do is I've got uh, the um, the pink ballerina Christmas set from uh, what is it Stampria and I'm going to put it together and make her a real pretty um, well it's really busy isn't it yep so I want to put it together and make her a real pretty um, memory book for Christmas this year because she's in college now. And so then she can have it to do her, uh, put, make her memorabilia book out of. I think that would be nice for her to have to put, you know, her competitions throughout the years in and such. So I think that's what I'm going to do for her. I'm going to put this piece right here. Right there. So that was my plan for her Christmas present. Was to do that for her. Cause see, I don't want to lose the number, and then when I cut that at halfway, then I can put a, a I can put a uh, sentiment label type situation there. Let's see, throw my glue around. And I know I'm covering up some of my. Uh, other bits, but that's okay. I don't really care. Don't really care. <laughs> I, I don't care. I wish I had another page of that green music, but I know I don't. No, I do not. I had music paper over here and with my stuff. Did I not pull it out? Let me look down here. Shut your face, look yonder. Different color music page. Yay, to the rescue. Oh, look at that. Ain't that pretty? I don't remember where I got these from either, y'all. I really don't. And I would like to, uh, I'm going to find me another one of these because uh, I can go back through my history and see where I got it from. I'll tell you that much because I like this. This, this would be great for uh, collagey bits, different colored, uh, 
book page and oh dang it and music page yes it would be awesome let me see if i can get it from this one here just tear it and shut up whatever yeah i'm not the best with these rulers because y'all know my hands hurt like crazy so i can't really hang on to them and that is really the whole point as to why i have not gotten the tear rulers to start with see because it slides right out from underneath it because i don't have the hand strength and i don't have the patience to deal with it i really don't <laughs> so we're gonna get the old cutter out and just chop it because i don't have the patience for that that's quite annoying to me i'm gonna cut this first uh, staff section off here and uh we'll use that to fill in other bits because we just need a few bits we don't need a whole bunch you know what i'm saying See, it's got all the different colors of, of Christmas or music paper, full shapes. So I'm going to see if I can't find me another kit or find that kit because that would be super duper fun. And see, it says uh, ephemera items for tucks and pockets. <laughs> so I just, need, I just reused the bags all I did. Then I have backing papers and, and uh, stuff like that in there things to make a femur with basically all right let me see if i can hang on to this bit nope <laughs> what the heck y'all are you serious right now come on you can hold that and tear it lady what's wrong with you all right so i just need a little bit right here i'm gonna tear <sighs> let's see I'm just going to tear this piece. I'm going to put that in my small music bits. Tear right here. If it'll let me. Put that there. If it don't stick to my fingers. I'll put this bit right here. And I'm probably putting it on there upside down. I don't know because now that I got all them bits tore off there I can't tell which way it goes we just putting it down I don't care it's music notes and it's purple and I'm putting it on here <laughs> how about that that's what we're doing I do, I do like that that's fun. That's cute. And, you know, this is not, you know, anything new. And I know right now I've seen a ton of collage video, collage, collage videos the last couple of weeks. Or, well, actually the last couple of days have seen quite a few of collage type videos. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I think it's more kind of a rustic uh, type thing for Christmas and such. Because, you know, I always, you know, tend to lean towards uh, music type bits for Christmas. I don't know why. Alright, so I'm not going to cut this with scissors. I'm just trimming the loose bits off the edge is all I'm doing. The hungover bits. We didn't do too bad. So, yeah. So, there is our collage sheet. I'm going to fix this glue page. We'll do this one when it'd be in shape of a tag, or we can use it as a belly band. So, we'll just fold it in half and glue it to itself and put it up. And that'll be in there. I'm going to put 
put my glue papers back up because this is all glue paper here. That's how I get so many, uh, that's how I had that one stack of, uh, loose book pages forever was from that, uh, that one altered book that I did for my daughter a couple years ago. And I'm just clearing my stuff up right now. Put my dictionary back down here somewhere else. I'll make another one, a couple of these actually. But I wanted to get on here and do a few, do a video today. Make some uh, ephemer bits to go with that. Oops, I just threw my cutter off there. <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, he's over there. Alrighty. Because what I really want to do is get back to uh, fussy cutting and uh, printing off the other stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll fussy cut as much as I can tonight. So, and my fussy cutting is running it through the Brother Scan and Cut. Love that machine, y'all. And I tell you what, if you're having issues with it, um, please watch a few videos that are quite helpful on um, how, uh, and you can actually download and hook it to your laptop or your desktop and send your prints through it, kind of like you can a Cricut. Now, I like it because it is a complete standalone piece. And that's why I wanted it because... I was like, I don't want nothing else. I got to hook to uh, a computer or desktop, laptop, what have you. I don't want nothing. I got to hook to nothing. I want it to where if I got something I want to cut, I'm going to send it through it and it just cuts it. And I ain't got to worry about, you know, resizing this, that, and the other. I'm going to buy my stuff and I want to print it off. And I want to be able to cut it out without my hands hurting for four weeks. Just because I cut a piece of paper with a pair of scissors, you know. And... That's why a lot of times I was, if it was not a squared fussy cut or just, you know, kind of like a, a slow roundy fussy cut, nope, I would not, I wouldn't fool with them. I'd make my own, my own tags and papers and fussy cuts because my hands could not take cutting the fussy cuts, y'all. I just can't do it. So now apparently I've got the hiccup. Alrighty, so let's see. There's a tag. There's a tag. All these turned out good. There's a tag. There's the one that's got Santa Claus on it. And where's the one that had Christmas? Did I cover it up? No, I ain't got to yet. And there's the one that has Christmas on it. So I think those turned out great. We can decorate up. Oh, I like it. Love it, actually. All right, so let's let's uh, let's do this. Let me get a drink, right quick. <clears throat> oh goodness! Now, to me, this is what you know junk journaling is. I mean, really, you know, to make the collage bits and put your decorative bits on it. And then when I don't do this kind of stuff, I feel like I'm cheating. You know what I mean? Now, granted, there are a lot of kits that have a lot of ephemera tags, pockets, and such in it. And trust me, uh, a lot of them I like because of that. And I will use them. And I will take and round the corners and you know, back them if I need to, or print them off on a thicker piece of cardstock when it's already, you know, printed, and I'll turn it over, and I'll print tea dye or coffee dye on the back of it. I sure will. And then I gotta, you know, I just cut it out, round the corners and ink it, put a topper on it, send it on its way. But to me, this here is collage true journal card you know, junk journaling type stuff. And I love it. So, that's what I'm going to do. 
that's why it's like sometimes I feel like I cheat because I do use the pre-made ephemeras uh, and such and don't make a whole lot of ephemera for certain journals or some journals I don't because it does have so much ephemera that comes with them and then I was like you know so with Christmas stuff I was like well I got all of these Christmas kits and not kits but um uh, paper pads so I was like I can make my own ephemera I just need you know like a few a few different packs of fussy cuts to put on the ephemera and so I went that's what I did I went and found me a bunch of labels and uh, fussy cuts and such and I was printing them off and then I ran across this some of these kits and I was like I gotta have it you know <laughs> I just gotta have it so that's what happened but, like I said, if we do not get into working on all of these kits this year, we still have Merry Mondays throughout the year that we can pull out a kit when we get tired of looking at all the floral bits and stuff, you know, and it's 95 degrees and oh, I'm just sitting in the air conditioner just wishing it would snow because it's so hot. I pull out my Christmas stuff and just be like, oh yeah, I remember when it was cold. <laughs> Let's see, I love cold weather. Oh look, that 53 fell right in the corner. Ain't that cute? Yeah, I'm I'm a cold weather lover. Uh, I can cover up and add layers, but there's only so much I can take off and still be allowed in public. I'm telling you that. I cannot do the hot weather. I can't do it. I can't breathe. Uh, my joints get stiff, and you know it's just it's not a good look. <laughs> it's just not a good look. Alrighty, so let's see. I'm gonna do a good old vintage photo on it. Just because, why not? Let's see, where, let me get the Santa Claus one and the Christmas one. Let me fix them first. Y'all, I think these turned out daggum cute. Cause you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find me a fat Santa Claus here that I just fussy cut it out. And look at there. Look, shut up. No, can't do that one. His arm ain't. Let's see. Eh. Look, he's got a hole in his head. I didn't cut him quite right. Let's see. Will you fit on there? Please let one of y'all fit on there without sticking off too much. Oh. See, because I want it to where it just says Santa Claus there, but they stick out too much. He's in a chair. Oh, let's see what you look like. Yeah, you stick out too much, too. Well, daggone. Let's see, it says, and he's got the bag on him. Of course, that's going to stick out. Well, shucks, y'all. Oh, look, maybe him. There we go. He's the closest one where I don't have to cut a whole bunch off. And I wouldn't care about cutting that plant off of there. Yep, okie doke. All it. Now, see, he's got on a robe that's got pink roses on it. Ain't that cute? And this one's got on a robe that has roses on it as well. But, yeah, so we'll do that. Some of these were, uh, that was where I accidentally didn't cut it right. I didn't uh, take out for the whole, the circle that was there underneath the paper. So, I'll probably just cut his hat off, to be honest. Or we can put a sticker on it. We'll fix it. That was that was me era, not uh, the fussy cut area. Not the fussy cutter thing era. Nope, I don't need that. Where's the bits and bobs? This here that I just did today. Let's work with them some. And this is the uh, Rustic Christmas from Digi and SVG Designs for You. This is that Rustic kit that I was telling y'all about. And it has 
notes pocket. Some of them I didn't want the flaps on just because I, I didn't really want all of that mess on there. And so see, like I can take and put this down it right here. I think that would be really pretty. Or over here. Let's put it over here on this side. Put it down here. And in just a little bit. It's too matchy matchy. Here it is. Come here, man. Goodness. That's gonna cover up my whole Christmas bit, ain't you? See, look at the little snowmen's. Ain't that cute? And just put that like that. Something kind of like that with the happy holidays up here, like so. I'm thinking. I think that's what I might want. Oh, look at the deer. Oh, he's pretty. He's too wide. I wouldn't even really need that. I would just ink this up and put show where it has the Christmas there. Put happy holidays. And I would put a green or red tag on it. Let's cut this bit off. Because this was inside of uh, one of these rounded bits on the bigger tag. It was in that spot. And I was afraid it was going to it was gonna cut... Uh, It was not going to cut my rounded bit, so I just deleted to cut this whole piece, actually, is what happened. And then, because you can do that if you're afraid that it's going to cut it wrong, and it picks up just, like, the piece that it was underneath was so dark that it picked up just the words and wanted to cut each individual word out. And I was like, I don't want that. Hmm. This is messing with my eyeballs. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. I think I want that kind of like that. Maybe not even the whole piece because I, it, this here will sit down here. Right at there at the Christmas. I want the point where it says Christmas. I want that somehow. I don't even want that on there. Let's just get rid of it. There we go. And just do that. Just do that. I like that. Let's do that. Hopefully, not all of it will be that difficult. You know what I'm saying. And we'll hit it with the, the old vintage photo. Pop that up off there. Oh, that's pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. Yep. That's going to work. And then I'll do a slot tag and get a get one of them pretty old oh, Looks like it's the, uh, what is it? It's not lace. It's, uh, what do you call it? This kind right here. The crochet looking type stuff. I'll put that top there on that. That. And then maybe a piece of that red, uh, that red stuff in it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That red twine. Good gracious woman. I don't know. I get too excited thinking about stuff. I have a vision of like 40, 1100 things, you know, country mathematics uh, coming out my head when it comes to Christmas stuff. And I'm just like, ooh, let's do this. Ooh, let's do that. Ooh, I want to do this, you know. So 
So, and then, like I said, I, I was like, you know, because I still have a bunch more stuff that I need to print. Oh, that's going to be pretty, I do believe so. And I got that little slot punch that'll go there. It'll work perfect for that. That glue. I'm like, what am I hunting for? Glue. Now these, I didn't want to cover up the Christmas and the Santa Claus word. So that was the only difficult bits on these. But the rest of them, one of them fat Santa Clauses is going on that stuff, y'all. I'm telling you. Oh yeah, that is so pretty. Love it. I've just been at home today other than going and getting my uh, going and get my uh, food order or my grocery order I should say I didn't want to cover up the word Christian there so I think I put that up way too high didn't I let's pull you down some I really didn't want to cover up the word Christian, but in order for it to uh, get the where I can put the slot thing on it, I'm going to have to. <laughs> well, dang it. That's not right. Oh, yeah, it's going to be pretty. And I got the slot punch. Now, I got this from uh, Hobby Lobby had it. You can get them off of Tamu and, uh, and, uh, what's that? Amazon. Bless it. Yep, you can get them off of there. And I'll see, then we can take and cut this and put it out the top of that, like that. There's my scissors yet, the good ones. I'm just going to trim this bit here because it's a little, a little janked up the way I had it packaged up in here. Now you can take and tie that or you can take and uh, get you some thread and do that with it. Now I think I'm going to attempt to uh, tie it around it and have it hang down over it. If I can get my fingers to do it. Oh, yeah. I like that right there. Yep. Isn't that cute? That's plain cute. I love that. Okay, dope. That one's done. I'm going to get it the glue on this here. Yeah. Put that on that. Get old Santa Claus here inked up. I know I'm cutting most of that plan off, but still. Let's get it inked up. It's the hardest thing to get around that little loop right there on his hat and without breaking it and without grunging it up to the point that you're just like, oh, he just looked like he rolled around in the mud puddle. <laughs> All right, so see how his arm curves right there at Santa Claus? That's what I want right there. And I'm going to 
we'll put a label down here of some sort. I got this cutter laying here and I got all this stuff spread up underneath it. <laughs> okay, I probably need to put all of these in a separate bag. That's tag bits. Let's see, what are you? Oven fresh preparations. Yeah, because he's, you know, no, no. Sleigh rides. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. <coughs> Keep that one just in case I can't find something else that I like. Put him right there. Yep. That would be cute. Let's see if we got something else because, you know, that just ain't quite getting it for me. It didn't really have a whole bunch of words in it. Oh, that's real pretty. Look at that. That's real pretty. She's pretty playing the violin music. Yep. You can see it's got a little wagon. It's just some country, country cozy Christmas, you know. Spreading Advent. Perfect. Unique. Oh, here we go, Jolly. Here he is. Let's put old Jolly there. So I'm going to put him over this way and we'll put Jolly right there. Joyful and jolly. Season greetings. Let's put that and see what that is. Oh, that would go there too. That would look really good. But I like jolly. Oh, that would have been good on the snowmen's Let It Snow. But we got another stuff. We got a bunch of stuff. I'll just, you know, way too much to be honest. But we gonna play with it. I don't care. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to glue this down and ink it up. And you know, we only made and decorated up two tags in an hour, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't, uh, yeah, Jolly's going to be good right there. So, I'm going to ink this here around it before I glue him on there. And then when I cut that bit off, um, I'll, I'll ink just where I cut it at again. But Okay. Glue. I'm still looking for that person that will stand here and just hand me stuff when I say it. You know, if I can remember what it's called. <laughs> That, that's the hard part. <laughs> so if you have a, what is that, ESP. And you can read my mind and tell me what I'm thinking that I'm looking for. That would be quite helpful as well. Okay, I got him right up against where it says Santa Claus there. And and cut this cut this flower bit off okay 
dokie. Put a little stitch of glue there. You'll be fine and dandy. Alrighty, so I'll throw you out. And it had glue on it. Now, let me see. Do I want the season greetings underneath there? No. I want Jolly on it. Just put Jolly on it because it's Santa Claus. So it's, it, you know, it looks empty down here. So we need a little word or something there. So it looks like he's standing on it. So he's not just floating, basically. I like that. That's cute. Okie doke. Now, let's make a... Put another one of those uh, little bits on there. Just because. It's pretty. And say... I. The way I judge the length on them is I'll fold it in half about the length of my little pinky. So I know that I can tie a bow thingy like that. That's how um, that's how I'm judging the length on what to cut it, to be honest with y'all. No rhyme or reason. Just I know that about the length of that folded up is uh, going to be able to tie one of those little thingy bobs. This one I can't stick very far down in there because it'll punch a hole in Santa Claus's head. There we go. Somewhat centered, anyways. I was like, what did I do with it? I covered it up. <laughs> Knuckle nugget. Okay, that's on the fold already, so. Let's try to get it to where it won't fold until we want it to. Oh, yep. Yeah, there it is. That's pretty. And then I'm thinking this is the Dollar Tree uh, ribbon. I'm pretty sure it is. And every time I go there to hunt for it, they ain't got it no more. But, yep. Yeah, there's those two. Isn't that cute? I like that a bit. Now, do we want to cut that off? No, nope, we're going to leave them on there. Just let it hang out. And that is cute as a button. All right, so we got two pieces of ephemera made for that journal kit already. Awesome, awesome. All righty, so now, so we did two fully decorated up and ready to go tags out of, you know, and it has. Let's see if you can see right here it has Christmas and right here and then the Santa Claus is right here behind him in his little arm. So yeah, them's cute. And then we did uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six more. We got six more uh, tags that we can decorate up for this journal kit. I think that is quite awesome. Okay, so now I need me a bag for finished ephemera bits for this. There we go. We'll put them in here on this side. And then these here will be put with the to be worked on ephemera pieces. Alrighty, y'all. Thank y'all so much. Like I said, I know we only got, you know, two tags basically finished and made today. And I'm sorry for that. But, um, you know, um, some days my hands are just not going to let me do a whole bunch. And some days, you know, I can sit down here and just uh, ramble off a bunch of stuff. 
it's just the way it works, you know. Live action crafting most of the time. But I think the biggest thing was uh, that come out really pretty. And I want to try to find, I think I'll go back on there and see if I can't find the, that music paper kit. And uh, I'll get back with y'all in tomorrow's video and let y'all know where it where I got it from and the name of the kit so if you want to go print the different stuff off of it you can and then like I said uh, I'm thinking about doing uh, doing some uh, of those staff papers it's just the staff like you know it's just the, the lines for the music sheet uh, I definitely want to print a bunch of that off and graph paper and such that would be awesome journal bits. I mean, just to add extra pages in your kits. Print off some of them. Just black and white. And then uh, take and print it in uh, different colored paper backgrounds. Like, you know, I have that uh, kit that has 200 different colors for background papers. That would be awesome to take and print that staff paper out on those to have to use that'd be really pretty collage piece get some red and green papers and uh, collage those music bits that would be really pretty i'm gonna leave that open because i still want to work on some bits i'll work on that tomorrow because you know it's today is y'all sunday video tomorrow will be merry monday i don't even know why we're going but i'm gonna call it merry monday anyways because hopefully by tomorrow evening when I shoot my Merry Monday video, I will have all of my uh, rest of my kits cut for Christmas. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping that I have them all done by then. <laughs> we'll see. Alright, so I need to pull. Alright, so that's all that kit I need to pull out and get this red and green, that's pink stuff. Whew. This one I need to pull out and get my stuff out of it to go to make collage bits for these. So this is a whole kit here in itself. I gotta cut pieces apart for it. And I see all my pink stuff is all in one, one folder. These are all separated out kits. Because some of these are going to be more than, uh, quite more than one journal. Because some of them have like 20 some pages in them. So, you know. Alrighty. Alright, I'm going to slide this in here for now. Because I do need to keep that out handy to use from time to time. During the decorating season. Just because it goes well with like two or three of the kits. Alrighty, thank y'all. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I hope y'all have a good day, and we'll see y'all tomorrow.